Hello and welcome to handling memory leaks in Angular. In this video, we want to deep dive into the Angular to find many cases about memory leak. But we'll look a common scenario where a beginner can miss that they can cause the memory leak. So let's get started. I have our application. I have prepared a demo application for that. Now let's just start that. I have application of backend system as well for that demonstration. Well, we do. Angular is being built. Let's say create the node back inside. I have a simple backend yeah. which returns just a load in whenever API, whatever API call it should, and we have the socket connection. We have socket connection and for simplicity, uh, we just emit a new user event every every 5 seconds and new request every 6 seconds and new users are generated from, from the data from the data with TG names and request uh, with these titles and we have some random random number we generate we pick some random users up and add some random suffix at the end of the name so they will look different server side is that much okay let's this what okay I have simple angular project let's watch the demo issue and we'll do that have logged any request that come to that that this connection same so we have a, a home page and, and two new components new users and and new request so when we are in that root directory i will dish that for the main screen request as are being sent no connection is being established so when i change to the new user Initially, there will be no user since I haven't used any socket, any API calls to get to a new user. But this will response users in every five seconds. Okay, okay, okay. So here is an new request page, and this will get a uh, new request every six seconds. Okay. Now, but the current issue is that whenever I change from this this new page to new request, ah. Uh, as you can see, these are the console log of a new new users message, and these are the uh, log of new request. So whenever I come back in the new request section, that I'm still getting new users. So let's check what what will happen if I go back to new users since there will be new user. But as you can see, we are we start to getting a two to response for a single event okay you can see that so for one single event we are getting two responses so we have two instances of this new user component that exists in the angular memory okay but it won't cause that much issue for this app or any app if you paste for like uh, some minute or some hours but as you can see if we for our dashboard for the application that run 24 24 hour a day or at least uh, 12 hour a day working with the, a project we can cause a lot of issues so in the real world application we move around we just move around and do some stuff there are not only these application there will be all other options 
So as you can see, for any request now, we are start to getting these many of the uh, these mobster requests because all those components that have been created are stuck in the memory of the Angular and they are not being cleared. Okay, we oh, have yeah. we know the issue, but uh, this is for the simple validation. Let's check the structure. Uh, how we can recreate clear this memory bit. Okay, and here is the code for the Angular. I have a service here uh, that is the socket IO client and we connect to the local host. So whenever I get users, get new users method is to create an observable and the uh, socket will listen on any new user event and whenever a new user event is yes, it will pass next and thus any subscriber to this observable will get Get this data and on new request there is a not a new request on the same for the new request event okay now we have uh this is the interest and uh, all these are default of angular so now we have these three routes uh, uh routes to home page and routes to new user and routes to new request so Mm -hmm. So new request goes to new user component and new user go to new user component and request goes to new request component. So we have new yes, new user component. In new user component we get the service and we call the get new user event and subscribe to that. So the log that we are being seen is from this line. So uh, we subscribe to that, and the user are whenever we become arrive, we push to our user user array. Uh, the onset will just push the front. Uh, okay, now set up this. So at the time, the users are displayed with the user array item, and the user each user are passed to the new user array item, which is simply the display the name and the date as well as same same for new request in this case it will display name the request and the date okay so the current issue is that whenever we use our whenever we use our our, our service layer uh, whenever we use a service in angular as you can see, service are attached to the root. Since it is attached to the root, if any application, any component that is referenced is still accessible with uh, the service, those those components cannot be cleared. So garbage collector cannot remove that. So whenever we request Whenever a subscribe or user subscribe or component subscribe to this uh, uh, to this service, it's uh, list the observable. So it's the list the uh, number of the observable and to when whom it need to forward the data. So even if so, when a new user change to another user, the Angular destroy that component. Even if the component is destroyed, since it is still connected with the socket service the service and service which is accessible with the root so that that component cannot be cleared from the memory so so we are getting this issue so uh, the solution to this problem could be oh obviously the only solution is that to unsubscribe okay i have prepared that solution as well Check that and how would it help? <laughs> okay, I put a solution here. So, new solution is 
uh, I have created the new is uh, I have new users observable and new request observable. So when you go on constructor, we just uh, save this observable to the new users and new request. So whenever new request new user and new request is called, we just return the same same observable. So there won't be multiple observable for a single 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 event okay that could be one improvement and another one is we have a subscription array uh, whenever we subscribe to and the observable will say uh, the observable will return a subscription so we say all the subscription to that array for this we have just one subscription but uh, i prepared this array so if we have more than one one more than one subscription we can just push to the subscription array so and the ng uh, ng on destroy method will be called every time the component is destroyed by the angular so whenever the component is, is not visible in the ui this uh, uh, ng on destroy method is called so this should be the good place to unsubscribe from those subscription okay in doing so this uh, service will not list this object as a subscription so as in the subscription list so the garbage collector can now uh, remove this uh, the, those components from the manual okay let's check the demo okay now we are back in the angular so let's go to new user 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 now okay we get one uh, user and uh, let's go to new request that by this configuration we should not receive any event called from that new about the new user since we have also subscribed from that and going back to this we we'll just place the new user and uh, the new request okay this this could look, look uh small uh, small scale but uh, not much but uh, when your application scales and you start to get a lot of traffic or more transaction in the backend I uh, have I have the similar case. Uh, I have been working on uh, a dashboard for our b application, but one day we we bought like five to six times more traffic than usual. So, so the, the that the traffic called it, and because of this this contribution, our application just freezes and lag. So I have sorts for this easy and just into work. Okay, in doing so, you can you can save your application. Just remember to save the subscription and unsubscribe it whenever the component is destroyed. And uh, one another solution could be instead of uh, uh, creating this observable within uh, within this service, you can export that that socket and just create an observable within here. So the uh, observable will also be destroyed along with uh, that component so that will be useful for the case when the event are is useful in a single page uh, only that component but for if uh, if you are interested in listening to the event that can be affecting the multiple area of your application uh, you can use the service layer okay that's all just unsubscribe from the subscribed observable Okay, thank you. Have a good day.